This week on the Sunday Ride, we cycle from Labuan Bajo to Ende on the mountainy Indonesian island Flores. We have to battle many steep gradients while we get a lot of mental support from the friendly locals. And we enjoy the beautiful nature around us. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. A very good and early morning from Flores. We had an incredible experience at the Komodo Islands where we saw the huge Komodo dragons and the even bigger giant mantas, which honestly is a sight to remember. And right now we're about to explore everything that the island of Flores has to offer. And this morning we got up really early to beat the heat, but to our surprise, it's actually quite cloudy this morning and we're pretty happy with it because you might be able to tell by my breathing uh, Flores is a very mountainy island with a lot of steep roads and with a little cloud cover these roads become a little more bearable Very good morning on this, well, another cloudy day, surprisingly. So far the weather conditions in Indonesia have been uh, pretty consistent. Uh, like sunny, hot mornings and cloudy, rainy afternoons. And Flores is changing things up a little so far. I don't know if that's the island or maybe just coincidence. But in any case, we almost crossed the first mountain range of the island. 
and we're gonna head down and descend about 30 kilometers down to the southern coast and then we have to cross another small mountain of 500 meters and hopefully we can find another camp spot at the beach afterwards. at our destination of today here at the seaside we found this place uh, through Google Maps because we thought there was a restaurant down here but it turns out it's uh, privately owned and the guy living here is luckily a very nice man and uh, he is allowing us uh, to sleep tonight in his garden actually in a little hut they prepared a small bed for us with with even with a pillow so that's uh, truly amazing and tomorrow we're gonna go up those mountains in the background um, they're covered in clouds right now uh, because they are high. It's got to be a very big climb, but at the same time, the very last one of Flores. made it to the top of one of the biggest climbs here in Flores. We went uh, from sea level all the way up to almost 1400 meters of elevation in about 35 or 40 kilometers. 
It was a big climb, but we have made it and we were supposed to be treated to some nice views over a couple of volcanoes here in the area, but it is very cloudy up here today, so no nice views this time around. And uh, we're gonna try to make it back to the seaside again. Uh, it's still 80 kilometers from here, so it's gonna be a very big day if we can make it. But if we do, we're gonna look for a recommended, cheap and very nice beach house right at the sea. It's been a very long and exhausting day, but after 120 kilometers and about 2,000 meters of elevation gain, we nearly arrived back, back at the seaside, and now it's time to take some rest and regain some energy for our last stretch tomorrow to end it. After a short but nice ride along the coastal line, we have pretty much arrived in Ende, the final destination of Flores, which means that we've successfully survived the mountains and steep roads, and of course the heat and humidity as usual. And uh, before we're gonna take the ferry to West Timor, we're gonna go on one more adventure up into the mountains to the Kelimutu volcano. We're gonna set our alarms once more in the middle of the night, and then drive up to the entrance of the park and start our hike up to the edge of the crater. Next week, we are taking the ferry to Green and Lush Timor, our last Indonesian island. After a few nice river and seaside camp spot, we reach the end point of my Asian route, Timor-Leste. 
But that's it for this week, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi there, thank you for watching this video up until the end. And did you like this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe down there or click on my face right there. It really helps me a lot, so thank you. I would also like to remind you that I am making this trip in order to raise money to build a school in Africa. For more information or donations, click on the school right next to my face. And while you're at it, don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Links down in the description below. See you next week.